slice of doodles. Yum! Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. For this month's set of doodles, I will be illustrating rolled up. So if you're new to this concept, it is a fusion between sushi rolls and burritos. <laughs> I first heard of this concept um, from SF. I heard about this place called Sushi Rito. Uh, so the concept really was mind blowing to me because if you know me, I love sushi. I can have sushi all day, every day. And the fact that you can have it in a size similar to a burrito, my jaw literally dropped. So I haven't tried the one in SF, so I can't really compare rolled up to anything. But if you have tried it, let me know. Um, I would definitely wanna try in the future. But I'm just so happy that it finally made its way to SoCal. San Diego is really in need of one. And so this is my first time trying this fusion. And Rolled Up is located in Hillcrest off 4th Avenue. And it's between University and Robinson, I believe. It's located in a small strip mall. And the owner of Rolled Up is also the owner of Project Pi, which is literally a couple doors down. So I think it's a really cool addition to what he's creating. Um, I haven't tried Project Pi, so I can't really say much about that, but I think what he has created with Rolled Up is a really awesome concept. And yeah, the only thing about the location though, I would say is that the parking is pretty limited. The parking lot is just really small. So if you don't have any luck with that, you can definitely find parking on the street, but with that, you have to pay for the meters. So that kind of sucks, but we were lucky enough to snag a parking spot in the corner. So we were good. <laughs> So let me first start off with the decor and the overall appearance of the place. Um, the outside comes with like a garage door in the front. And right outside the door are these two round wooden tables for groups. And walking in, the place is pretty narrow. So on the left side are a few tables. They had bricked walls and a huge lit up sign with the word eat, which made me hungry. <laughs> it had a really nice chill vibe to it. So on the right hand side, they had their huge um, blackboard menu sign. It took me a while to really choose what I really wanted to get, but yeah, everything sounded really awesome. If I had to describe rolled up in two words, it would be hip subway. <laughs> because they are literally like a subway, but for sushi. And it's funny because there's actually a subway right next to rolled up. So I feel like it's like some kind of competition. <laughs> but yeah, so it's kind of like the, so like the way you order, it's kind of like subway. The cool thing is that you can build your own sushi roll if you wanted to, or you can just choose from the menu. The really cool thing I think is that they have an option for half and half. So being that it was our first time there, I really wanted to try more than one roll. So I'm really glad that the girls 
at the counter, which by the way, they're, they're really, really friendly and they're helpful as well. Um, they informed us about the half and half and how we can just pick two rolls, which I think is a really great deal um, for $12, especially with its size and the fact that it's healthy. So once I picked two rolls, um, the whole weight and the process of making the rolls was lo a little longer than I expected, um, but we did arrive in time uh, to beat the rush <laughs> because we got there, there weren't that many people, um, so the weight wasn't much of a big deal to us. So yeah, and the fact that the girls were really friendly, um, it really made up for it. So the two rolls that I went with were the Pokey and Upstream. Um, the weird thing though is that um, the ingredients on their website and at the actual restaurant are slightly different. So you'll see later, but the ingredients that I wrote down on my sketchbook is from the website, but the ones I will be telling you right now are from the restaurant. So for the Pokey, the ingredients consist of ahi, Persian cucumber, lettuce, tempura crunch, tobiko, ginger chai guac, and wasabi soy mayo. And then the upstream has agave, salmon, Persian cucumber, asparagus, lettuce, blue corn chips, ginger chai guac, and terry mayo. So I heard that the pokey was one of their most popular rolls, and I can see why, because it is just really good. <laughs> I really like the tempura crunch in there. And the upstream, the overall flavor was great and the salmon didn't have a strong fishy taste to it, which is always a plus for me. Um, and salmon is always my go-to fish for sushi. So yeah, salmon's my favorite fish. The side of blue corn chips though kind of confused me for a little bit, but together it does create this interesting addition, especially with the different textures. And one of the girls had told me that the owner actually orders the fish daily and it's always fresh. I definitely tasted the freshness and it was just really filling. So yeah, I was just really happy with the roll. The only thing, um, it was not much of a huge complaint, but halfway through eating the rolls, it did fall apart. But really, it's not much to complain about. Um, and that's just one thing I noticed. Adding the sriracha mayo to the rolls really added that extra flavor that I love. So yeah, can't go wrong with sriracha mayo. It makes everything much better. So the rice was cooked perfectly. I'm glad it wasn't like super mushy, which I hate in rice. Um, so yeah, the rice was good. So the size of the sushi roll it wasn't as huge as I thought it would be, but honestly, the size was perfect enough for me, for my appetite, so I don't have any complaints about the size. But overall, I would definitely recommend Rolled Up. It's really healthy and filling, and I think it's cool because they have different options. You know, if you're a meat eater or a pescatarian or a vegetarian, um, there's different things that you can try, especially since you can build your own roll. So that's really cool, I think. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it's that expensive, to be honest, especially with, you know, how fresh the fish is and just the fact that it's healthier than an actual burrito. I think it's worth it. And the funny little thing is, is that they have adult fortune cookies. Um, so yeah, if you're not easily offended, you can try those fortune cookies. They're really delicious. Um, they're, the one I had was dipped in um, chocolate and nuts. So yeah, I would definitely come back. Um, I would want to try their other roll called the Crunchy Little Guy. So I'll let you know if I ever try that. <laughs> So that is all for my slice of doodles for this month. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, create every day, stay motivated, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! So for this month's slice of doodles, I'll be illustrating Bottega Louie. 
So if you're new to my channel,